job actually because they've got to come in so Today let's dive into the Steam Deck 2 for Windows. This tool brings Windows on Steam Deck to the next level. The Steam Deck 2 solved three main problems for Windows on Steam Deck. First, we can adjust the TDP. Second, manage the fan noise. Third, use Steam Deck building controller for any games on Windows. Plus, lots of hotkeys for operating Windows without mouse and keyboard. So first, adjustable TDP. This software will allow us to adjust Steam Deck TDP from 3 watts all the way up to 15 watts during the gameplay. Just remember you need to launch a game and change the TDP for it to be saved. You cannot save a TDP setting for desktop use. As we can see, after I changed the TDP to 3 watts, the FIFA 19 became unplayable instantly. This game can be played with 6 to 7 watts TDP on the deck. The fan noise on Windows sounded like a jet engine before. Now with this software, it will apply the SteamOS fan curve to the Windows. This makes it much quieter and more comfortable to use. Here is my comparison test for the fan noise. I have to put it really close to realize the fan is running inside the deck now. The fan noise is reduced at least 2 to 3 times than before. We have 3 fan modes that can be selected from here. The default will just have no fan control at all. The Steam OS mode will apply Steam OS fan curve onto Windows. I think this is the best one we should use. Obviously, if you pick the max, the fan will run at maximum speed always. The fan curve setting will apply for both desktop use and gaming. Before, in order to play no Steam games on Windows, we need to use SWICD or Glosses to make the building controller to work with no Steam games. But to set up SWICD or Glosses are just too complicated. Now with Steam Deck 2, there is no setup required. All we need to do is install the Steam Deck 2 and simply switch the controller profile to Xbox 316. Now we are ready to go. The Steam Deck 2 offers three controller profiles. If we switch to desktop mode profile, the touchpad will work like a laptop trackpad. When we press the trackpad, it will function as mouse click. In the desktop profile, we can also use shoulder button L1 and L2 as mouse click input. If we switch to Xbox 316 controller profile, all buttons will work as an Xbox 316 controller on the deck. Plus, we can still use the trackpad as a full function mouse. The DS4 mode is to emulate PS4 controller profile. Another great thing with Steam Deck 2 is we can customize all four buttons on the back of the Steam Deck to match with any keys on your keyboard. Also, we have this shortcut list. Most of the shortcuts work exactly same as Steam OS. So make sure you check out this list after install the Steam Deck 2. The shortcut makes operating Windows much easier. The Steam Deck 2 offers other features too, but I am not able to get the FPS limit and GPU scaling feature to work. But with the feature I just included, it's already pretty helpful for running Windows on Steam Deck. Now let's install the Steam Deck 2. As I said, there is no setup required. All we need to do is go to the Steam Deck 2 GitHub website and download the installation file and then click the .exe file and process the installation. Once we have the installation done, we will have a power control, steam controller, fan controller, and performance overlay icon show up on the desktop. I will delete the performance overlay from here because I found it is pretty buggy to use. 
I will make a dedicated video for how to use performance overlay with RTSS. If we move to the quick access tree on the bottom right corner, we will see all the three tools are here. Most of the time, we will be able to quickly access all tools from here. The Steam OS fan curve may trigger the anti-cheat feature for some games. So make sure you switch to default fan curve if the game has anti-cheat feature. Even the ROG Ally is coming to the market on June 13th. I think the Steam Deck is still the best handheld PC you can buy in 2023. You can get the best gaming experience out of it. Steam Deck is not just a Steam OS operated device, but it can be a powerful Windows handheld PC as well. Plus, Windows experience on Steam Deck is just getting much better than before.